Two more fighters announced for PlayStation All-Stars, and we've got a first look at the new Resident Evil CG movie. I am Scott Jones, and this is your Press Pause Daily. Last weekend at the San Diego Comic-Con, Sony announced two more fighters that will be making their way to the upcoming PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. First up is the classic PS2 duo Jack and Daxter. The series was created in 2001 by Naughty Dog, which is now known for the Uncharted games and the upcoming Last of Us. Players will be very familiar with the duo's fighting style, and they will utilize many of the weapons from their arsenal, such as the Blaster, Needle Laser, Gyro Burster, and Mass Inverter. Jack will also be able to unleash his light and dark powers that he gained in Jack 2 and 3. Next we have Cole McGrath from the Infamous series. As a character that has superpowers, you can be sure that he'll be able to use many of them in the game. He is very mobile, and according to the PlayStation blog, he can quote, command both his electrokinesis and cryokinesis using these powers to assault opponents from a safe distance or to propel himself towards the action. The roster for this game just keeps getting better and better. I can't wait to see who else Sony is bringing to the party. The game comes out on October 23rd, and it is definitely on my must-buy list. Also at last weekend's Comic-Con, attendees got their first look at the trailer for the next Resident Evil CG movie. Resident Evil Damnation is the sequel to the 2008 CG movie titled Degeneration. Capcom showed off a trailer for the movie and stated that the game will be canon in the game series story. The movie will again star Resident Evil 2 and 4 protagonist Leon S. Kennedy and will take place between Resident Evil 5 and the upcoming Resident Evil 6. Another surprise for the movie was the announcement that fan favorite Ada Wong would be making an appearance in the film as well. According to the story on G4, Kennedy is in a European war zone when he learns that US support is being pulled for the mission. Well, he's not having it and instead goes rogue. Degeneration was a pretty enjoyable movie for fans of the series, and this one looks to be just as good. Creators told the Comic-Con audience that they would love to make more, and if this one does well, they will do so. So I guess that's one more thing to add to my must-buy list. Oh, my poor wallet. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning into this episode of Press Pause. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where we'll have more gaming news for you. And if you've missed any of our past episodes, go to presspause.mevio.com, check them out there, and I will see you tomorrow.